Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel Yan here at the Center for Musculoskeletal Function in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. And today we're going to be talking about low back pain in golf. If you're a golfer, you're going to want to listen to this episode because low back pain is the most common pain complaint for golfers. Okay, so the golf swing requires a lot of rotation, obviously. And we want to get that rotation from the right places, uh, particularly the mid-back, uh, which we call our thoracic spine, and the hips, which are down here attaching to the pelvis, um, and less from the lower back. And I'm going to show you why when we look at the anatomy a little bit better. So this is your low back, this is your sacrum, this is your pelvis here. And this bony processes, these are like what I can actually feel when I rub my own lower back. Um, these these processes that poke out just to give you an orientation of where we are and then on the sides here these are our facet joints and you can see that they line up like this so our facet joints kind of line up like this which allow for bending forward which is flexion and extending back which is extension but it doesn't really allow us to rotate very well so as soon as I rotate from here I start to run into uh, the bone right there so the low for that reason the low back doesn't rotate very well so when we look further up at the mid-back, the thoracic spine, we're gonna see that we also have facet joints, but they're shaped totally differently. They're shaped like this, right? So we can, when we rotate them, we can see that they rotate without any problem. You know, there's nothing stopping them there. So for that reason, we want that rotation to come from here. And then when we think of our hips, they're really a ball and socket joint. So this is a big ball and socket joint, which that allows for a lot of movement um, uh, without any any kind of difficulty. So we want the movement to come from here and from the mid back and a lot less from the lower back because if it comes from the lower back we begin to really uh, create some pain and some problems there. So the type of injuries that can occur if there's not enough movement from the mid back or not enough movement from the hip and even the shoulders and ankles um, can create situations where the low back gets overused. Um, the problems start, start to occur is like as you start um, jamming these facets, for example, or you can get facet arthritis into these areas, so you start to get arthritis. You can start to get disc bulges and disc herniations as we overload the disc because the low back, again, doesn't like running into um, that rotation, and it doesn't like rotation and bending like this, which can sometimes occur when there's faulty swing mechanics. So in the office, I take all of my golfers through a functional movement assessment so we can identify restrictions in the mid-back, restrictions in the hip, and uh, realize whether or not we're excessively rotating uh, from the lower back so we can prevent these types of injuries. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.